guys, in this video we're going to tell you what we thought about Culver's, Butter Burgers, and Frozen Custards. Stay tuned so you can check it out. There's a bit of a glare, it's but like we <laughs> just came from a place called uh, Culver's, which I have never seen, never heard of. Maybe I'm crazy, <laughs> but uh, I'm we're gonna either. give them a try and see what we think. Wow, it's a pretty long fry, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so it reminds me of like a steak and shake, kind of, don't you think? I mean, in the way that they've operated. We haven't eaten it yet, but. Yeah, it's, not like, it's definitely like the last time I went to one. <clears throat> Try one of those. See what you think. Those are pretty good. I like them. Okay, so I'm Great. gonna just show you the burgers. You guys probably do not want to see us eat. But well, we both stay, have but... one of these. <laughs> these are very fresh too. These are very fresh. They make them fresh to order. It says that first bite though when you open it up. It's so cute. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're looking at. This is called the Double Carver Deluxe, right? Wasn't yeah. it the Deluxe? Yep. And as you can see, it's really good. They toast the buns, there's cheese, there's burger, there's purple onion, yum, yum, yum. We got cheese and it's gonna be delicious and in our mouths in just a minute. And we're gonna come back to tell you guys what we thought of it. We also got onion rings. Did you try one of these? Yeah, there was actually They're really good. And just like everything, like I said with the fries, everything is supposed to be freshly made. Amazing. So, I don't know we what also else there, but. <laughs> show them your drink. Um, we got a little. We had to wait a minute for our stuff, so we've already gotten into our. This is what you call a cobbler, right? Yeah, it has the uh, the vanilla ice cream and a choice of fruit. I went with strawberry for mine because I like strawberry and ice cream always really goes well with me. And it's got granola in it, and it's right? It's got granola and. It's actually made me like, I think I'm not going to have white vanilla ice cream anymore. I'm going to have granola but mix into it because it's like, that's a good combination. Mm -hmm. And ladies and gentlemen, they do custard here. They don't do regular ice cream. They do custard. You don't get that a lot here in Florida. I got a concrete mixer. His was called the cobbler mixer. Mine is called the concrete mixer. As you can see, I'm already enjoying it quite a bit. <laughs> I don't know if I can get this on camera because it's been sitting here a minute. But when I first got it, you could hold it like this and nothing would happen. And it's still really, it's doing pretty good actually. It still has not dropped while I'm talking to you. That's that's pretty wild. So this one is, uh, I got vanilla custard with cheesecake and salted caramel. And of course we did what they call a value basket. Which is the fry. The, you get the, the fry drink, and the drink, yep. And your choice of the sandwich. Exactly. So we're gonna eat our grub. We're gonna come back and let you guys know what we think about Culver's. Now this one's out. They're called Culver's Butter Burgers and Frozen Custard. That is the full official name. Uh, I had never heard of them. We passed them today. We're right on 192 and uh, the far, far end of Kissimmee really almost to Lake County so it's not right inside Kissimmee it's a good ways out on 192 on the further end towards Lake County so yeah we're ready to eat our grub so we will be back
Jefferson, what did you think, Jeff? That was really good. They were very good. Honestly, Culver's is a thumbs up for me. How about you? Agreed. It reminded me of like, uh, whenever I ate a steak and shake, it kind of reminded me of the burger. And especially the whole order itself. So, yeah. but it was also The pretty... fries are different though. I like yep. that. And the onion rings are really good as well. I mean, especially the portions they give you for the order, it's like a really good portion. It is. It's not like in some places where it seems like they give you too little or some yeah. actually rarely like, give you too much. It, right. but, it's, but it felt like you got plenty. And I, I feel like even when we had the onion rings, just the fry and burger itself would have been filling enough. Yeah, and you can dine in if you want. Uh, we decided to go and opt for going through the drive-thru. Uh, and it's kind of a cool system. Once you make your order and you pull up to the window and you pay for it, they put a little post-it note sticker on your, on your side mirror and uh, pull you into a parking space so that they can free up their drive through to help other people, which is kind of awesome. Right. And then they bring you out your food because they make it fresh to order. So it's not like, you know, just sitting back there and they're doing like 10 at a time. No, when you order, that's when it hits the grip. Right. It's like and most Steak and Shake has the same situation with their burgers, I know. True. Um, but yeah, it was pretty, it was really good. I liked it. I would come here again. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, All right. Shannon's no, no, none of these closer to my house, but if right. I'm around, definitely yeah, this kinda... is the I've never heard of them, so we drove by them, right? Yeah. We're looking for something to eat, and we're like, well, what's that place? Culver's Butter Burgers and Frozen Custard. I mean, pretty awesome. And I was like, I've never heard of that place. We should check it out. So once we looked at it and saw it was something we wanted to do, we decided to come here. And uh, it's priced about like Steak and Shake too. I would say. Um, for the two of us, we had uh, the deluxe uh, packet, like a meal. Yeah, it's called the value basket, but it was the uh, the double deluxe um, Culver. Each of us got a value basket, which came with the fries and came with a um, you know this size soda. So yeah. not too bad. This is just a diet Pepsi. And the prices may vary as well because you can get the there's a single, but then you can upgrade to a double sure. or, or or just that bacon to it. Yeah, if you want. that's just what we we got for ours, and then we got a side of onion rings because I wanted to try them here because um, I find that places like this tend to have really good onion rings, and why not, right? Uh, and then of course we both had our big drinks that you saw earlier, the milkshakey type things, the concrete mixers. Mine was a concrete mixer, his was the cobbler mixer, right? And Really good. So all together for both of us, it was $33.80. A little on the high end for that, but when you consider we got our dessert too, and we got uh, a side of uh, onion rings also, and we got to try something new. So exactly. That's you know probably a little more than I would normally pay for a night out to go out and eat, um, but for for burgers and fries anyway from our you know the drive-through service. But uh, really good and really worth trying it. Might be like a nice uh, visit out here on a weekend with the family. They'd probably love this place. I know my Thanks. mom, when she loves custard, the custard was Great. delicious. It's definitely like, like one of those times you just don't want an average burger. You want to think a specialty burger. Because this is more like a flame, yeah. flame broil cook. They have chicken sandwiches too, guys. They and had a whole seafood. bunch of stuff. And seafood, yeah. They had a variety of stuff. So they do fish. They do, you know, they do... Uh, chicken. Uh, they had a spicy chicken sandwich as well which I toyed with the idea of getting, you know. Uh, they do pretzel bites. They've got all kinds of neat stuff. So definitely when you get a chance, if you're out in the far end of Kissimmee area, you should come check out Culver's for yourself. And uh, other than that, guys, peace. Later. We're out of here. We'll see you next time. Hey everybody, we are super excited to tell you about our notebooks and our Art It books. So check out our beautiful notebooks. This is one of several. This is the Sloth and the Raccoon and Line Pages. And it is beautiful, but we do have some other ones coming as well. This is our Art It Artist Block Creative Idea Book. And it is amazing. It's going to give you some ideas so that you can get flowing on some art and have a little fun. This is called our Art It Great Beginnings Book. And we love this this one because we're going to start something and you guys are going to finish it and there's a lot of challenges and great fun in making art in these books also guys you can get these live on amazon right now we'll have them linked in the description make sure that you check it out because we are going to be including some new ones down in the description that weren't in the video don't forget to like and subscribe and share with all your friends and hit that bell so you know when we have a new video.